Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 28th through January 3rd. Happy New Year. Um, so, keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius? For the week of December 28th through January 3rd, knowing that the timing is still fluid, this is a message from the universe. Does the universe want Sagittarius to know that this week is going to be about Emperor? And it does, it is reversed. I, I have to I have to take it like that. So there's there's control issues here. Somebody is in control, they want to be in control. There's uh I mean this may have something to do with a father, a boss, a husband. Um the emperor in reversed, that's out of control, wanting to be in control, deserts you in the time of need, angry, narcissist energy, um, somebody's on the wrong side of the law, they're power hungry, um, not wanting to take responsibility, there's, a, there's chaos, I believe there could be some chaos this week, entitlement, somebody is feeling entitled, you know, um, wanting to be in control so we have a very entitled individual here that wants to be in control okay um corrupt there's some sort of corruption here there's criminal there could be some criminal activity somebody is doing something that, against the law you know they feel like they can this is somebody that is mean that is on the wrong side of the law that is doing something to control you know this is a very controlling forceful energy as we start this reading so uh What do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius? Need to control. You need to control yourself. We have somebody here that lacks experience. Could be you, somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, this person lacks experience. I don't know if it's you. They're on the wrong. Now, these just flipped out. And you know, it's funny because Capricorn just got this. And they, you, I don't know if you saw them flip out. They just fell out of the deck. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, and Capricorn also had in this deck the Emperor reversed. So, but it was in this deck. So there, I think that you, some of you, are dealing with a Capricorn or a Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, but um, there's definitely things. There's anger here. There's anger. There's there's corruption. There's disorder. Okay, there's some sort of disorder, some sort of disorganization, and there's somebody that wants to control. Okay. And I feel like they're, they could be breaking the law. And it could be even the karmic law. You may want to watch the Capricorn reading. Just saying. Anyhow, um, there's definitely some, some corruption this week. Um, honor and respect will come to you. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. There is someone against you. Or... Uh, or there's somebody, or you're against somebody. This could always go vice versa. It's very interesting how those two fell out. Um, not wanting responsibility. Somebody's trying to cause trouble. I think that somebody's trying, try, could be you, could be another person. Somebody wants to be in control. Um, and it's going to cause chaos. It is going to cause chaos. So get prepared. Nine of Pentacles. So this is some sort of material gain. Somebody could be receiving or they may want to receive something. Some sort of payout. Could be from somebody that has deserted you in the time of need. Uh, there's definitely some corruption. Somebody is looking for some sort of payout. Right? They're looking for a payout. Um, we have a very self-sufficient individual here who has worked really, really hard. So I don't know if that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is a very strong, independent person who has obtained success through hard work. But there's somebody behind this person that is trying to abuse. So that's interesting. Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, now this is somebody that has abundance. 
hard, hard, hard worker. Clever, cunning, solid, stable. Somebody's getting an offer. We have a very hard working individual here is getting a solid opportunity. Okay, because that equals the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe a new home, maybe a new car. They're getting some sort of financial prosperity. Somebody is in there, but there's some sort of, there's somebody that don't want it to happen because of that emperor reversed. Somebody doesn't want it to happen. There could be some jealousy issue, issues or control issues. Um, Ace of Cups, and definitely not happy. We definitely have somebody, there's a lack of emotional fulfillment here. A lack of emotional honesty. Sad. Somebody is sad. The devil reversed. Now this is freedom. There's some sort of sadness over somebody's freedom. There's sadness over freedom. Sadness because somebody is breaking free. There could be jealousy. Somebody is jealous that somebody is breaking free, that they have found their mental strength. They've found their worth, their value, because this is very, somebody has found their value and now they have obtained the resources that they need to break free. So there's, I feel like there's definite jealousy here. Somebody's going to try to stop something from happening because of control issues. Somebody has secured abundance and they may be getting an offer that makes them even more abundant. And I feel like, you know, there's, there's, I feel like there's jealousy. I feel like there's anger. I feel like there's resent. I feel like we have somebody here that wants to control. They don't want somebody to break free. You know, they really want that control. Four of Wands. Something to do with a new home for some of you. You could also be attending a church, a gathering, a get-together. There could be an upcoming get-together. I don't know if there's some sad news that is coming. I'm, I just got to be honest with you. Okay. There could also be, it could be a very emotional time because somebody is breaking free. That devil reverse is breaking free. Okay, it's breaking free from an unhealthy situation that leads to happiness. You know, it leads to a lot of happiness. We have a very determined individual here who is letting something that is emotionally unfulfilling go by the looks of things that has had kept them tied down. You know, they're letting it go and they're moving towards happiness. And there is somebody here that is angry. Okay, so be prepared to deal with that angry person. Um, or you're, I mean, it could go vice versa if you're the cross watcher. You know, we, have a, we definitely have an angry, controlling individual here that does not want somebody to be happy. And it's all about power and control. Now, the fo somebody could be deciding to separate and go their own way. We have a very independent individual here that knows their value, does not want to be abused. There's some sort of, the emperor reversed is, rebu is abuse. It is. Somebody could be, you know, obtaining the resources. Maybe they've received, you know, money or a gift or a loan or something like that to break free. Anyhow, the four of wands has to do with home, happiness, a get-together, Going down a new path, building a new foundation, breaking free from a toxic situation. I do feel it's going to be a very emotional situation, though, with the Ace of Cups reversed. There's going to be emotions, you know, a flood of emotions, tears, perhaps. Uh... Sun, warm place, a warm, sunny place, happiness, new life, breakthrough, new beginning, birth. There could be news of a birth. There could be news of a new life. This is a big, bright opportunity. Somebody has a, a bright opportunity. This is a breakthrough for a new life. Somebody is being given an opportunity. This is a yes answer. Yes. 
Yes, you're accepted. This is acceptance. You're going to be accepted or, or somebody that you're dealing with. So this could be for the cross watcher. Somebody is going to be accepted. And I think it's going to be very, very, very emotional. Emotional news is coming because somebody has decided to go down a new path. They're breaking free from an unha unhealthy situation that has been, it's been a disaster. Okay? There's been a lot of suffering. Somebody's been in a deep, dark place where there's been a lack of emotional support. There's been a, ma a lack of love. But there is, it's like this is a breakthrough. Okay, so this is a new day. It's a new beginning. It's, it's uh, extreme happiness is coming. This is a yes answer. You're going to get what you um, manifested because that's manifestation. Somebody has manifested a new opportunity that is going to make them extremely extremely happy this is freedom this is freedom and this is freedom freedom from an emotionally unfulfilling situation having obtaining some of you are getting a new job or something like that or a new home you're definitely getting an offer from somebody Okay, this king of pentacles, or could be like somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, somebody is getting an offer that is, it's a very, it's a, be, it's a beautiful offer. Okay, it's going to make them extremely happy, put it that way. Um, this is being accepted. This is a new beginning. So we do have a new beginning here. Some of you could even, there could be an engagement that is coming up, a party, a get-together. I think I already said that. Solid, stable offer is coming in that is going to make you extremely happy. And if it's not you, it's, it's the cross watcher. This is breaking free. Seeing the light. This is darkness. This is light. Things getting better. Things are going to get better. Yes. This is yes, it's yours. These could be tears of joy. You're free. Tears of joy. You're free. And this is joy as well. It looks like it is. Tears of joy. You're free. You're free. You're free from this abuse. Whatever's happening, good news is coming. There is some sort of good news. One more card. Valor. So this is this is a seven of wands. So this is somebody that is very strong in a very tough position. Has a lot of stiff competition that is not going to give up. This is somebody who is very determined. So we have a lot of we have determination here as well. We have a very determined individual. This person is uh, very, very strong. This strong individual is, I feel like there's going to be a victory. Your perseverance, your determination, your strength, and your courage to, to hold your ground. This is somebody holding their ground and having many people against them. So we have one person that it's like the whole world. It's like everybody is against them. This person is going to persevere and they're going to get the happiness that they've been waiting for. They're going, yes. Your strength. This is something to celebrate. You are going to get some good news that allow, or, or somebody's walking away as well. They are. 
I don't need the Eight of Cups to say it. It's like the, the, the battle is over. They are. The, the battle is over. There's no, the, the fight is over. This is, this is somebody, you know, enjoying life. The storm is over. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like this is a week of being accepted, starting a new life, being free, being free from some sort of toxic, I don't know if it's an individual that has been abusing you. This is freedom. It's freedom to celebrate. It's freedom to stop having your guard up. You can now breathe, okay? You're free. There's a lot of freedom here. I feel like it's tears of joy. I know I feel like it is tears of joy as you are. Somebody is... is uh, Gaining some sort of stability and security after they've had to fight a serious freaking battle. It's like the fight is, is going to end. It is. One more card. One more card for that Seven of Wands. There's been some stiff competition. We have an individual that has been refusing to give up and their perseverance is about to make them very, very happy. It's like they're being given a gift. Okay, there's a blessing. There's a gift that is coming for this strong individual who has had everybody against them. Everybody, and, and if it, this person has had everybody against them, it's like they've been on their own. No help has gotten no help and no support from anybody. Now there's a gift coming for this person. This person is going to be having emotional, it's like an outpouring of emotion because of the gift that they're receiving. So there's some sort of gift that is coming, a blessing with that sun card. Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is about strength, confidence, courage, willpower, determination. I feel as though for some of you, your health is going to start improving. You may be looking very good this week. There's some sort of protection here. There's protection for a noble individual. This person is very noble. Hold your head up high. Be strong. This battle is just about over whatever the battle is. Happiness is here, okay? This is a golden opportunity. You're being given an opportunity and it's freedom. It's freedom. You're going to be very, very powerful this week. We have a we have a natural leader here. We do. 
we have a natural leader here who is taking charge. They're taking charge of their future. They're taking charge of themselves. And they're moving. It's almost like they're moving to a better place, you know, with that sun card. That's happiness. Positive. Very, very positive news is coming. This news breaks you free from a toxic situation, whatever it is. Good luck.